Hello everyone, today we are playing a new game on the channel, Another Brick in the Wall. So basically you just build them all and you can research all the different types of things you can sell and you get a bunch of people and you can just design it however you'd like. So we're going to start a new game. I'm going to do, let me think, um, we'll do scenarios someday, that'd be kind of fun to try and do that. We could do standard or we could do other sandbox. So we can start with 200,000. It's actually not that much. You'd think it would be, but it's really not. Um, my mods. I have 13, I only use 10. So there's some random events. We have mild shoplifting, no staff needs. All right, so let's start with the tutorial. Not for me, but for you because you some of you don't know what you're doing so i help you out okay hello and welcome you have somehow inherited this massive land regional planning however forbids residential or industrial zoning in the area commercial is your only option let's have a look around use wasd or arrow keys to pan the camera alternatively hold the mouse wheel button use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out you can also use t and g to zoom in and out even i didn't know that well, this short tutorial will walk you through opening your first business. Let's get started. We will need to build the foundations first. Go into the build mode, which is up here, and select foundations. Order your workers to build foundations by clicking and dragging over the designated area. Okay, so we're going to follow the tutorial first. We're going to make her a little shop that she wants us to make. And then eventually I'm going to have a bigger road up here. And I'm going to actually build a huge mall over here. This is so we can make profit and then as we keep making profit, we'll start building over here as well. So I will do what she's doing now, so I actually get some money. Cause, so, oh, to do foundations, it's the one that looks like metal. Um, and you just click and you just drag. Now this takes a long time, trust me, I only have one worker. So, this is going to be a long time. So, we will have to build an office. And so the office is what makes lets us research things. So we'll probably start with cold chain because then you get cold food and people like that because then you can get a better grocery store, which is what you start with in the game because it's really your only option until you research other um, things. So we have a new objective, open a business. So we have to do that. So we, we're going to have to have um, storage. So we have to build different things. So for the delivery men, we have to have a staff door so they can get in. For the normal people in the world, you have to do a double door, which, oh, the objects button is this button right here. So to separate things, you can click on the wall button. It doesn't make foundations, but it will make walls in between. And then we're gonna add another staff door in, in the middle because if you put a staff door in in the middle, then the staff from your store, which your stocking clerks, can get in and out of storage quickly. If you go to a sign, which is F by the way, if you wanted to get there quicker, um, you go to storage, again, you click and drag, so like that. So it says storage one, because that's the first building you've made. So it adds a, a one behind everything. Like this one will have a two, because it's the second thing I did. So storage is the second one. So now you have to have food shelves. So we go to build, objects, and if you go to where it says all and you go to store you can change um, what stuff you have so you can choose if you want a store or like a restaurant for later so then you just click to place these down oh they don't want a food shelf okay so there's different kinds of shelves normal shelves and then there are food shelves this is a very tiny thing I would never start this small but I would do it so then you have to have a checkout counter for your cashiers and clerks and all that to do your, their work. And you actually, people get mad if there's too long of a line. So you have to keep expanding your store. So you will need to set products to sell on your shelves. Go into select mode and right click on your shelves. So you right click, you can do this. So what we're gonna do, we're going to sell on the main thing, diapers. 
toilet paper, and then pads and tampons, because those are the main things people will need in a rush. So if you have part of that in tiny little store, people really need it really fast, they can come grab it. So for food, you want to have a good, like, balance, because you want to have some bread and some seasoning and stuff, like rice and pasta and normal bread. And you also want to have some of the snacks. So UK Crisp, which is a mod, so you don't have to worry about that, because I don't think that's actually in the game. And you can do like candies and you can do some like pet food so you have a good balance so if you go to build this is the road work but if you click that you can choose so you need a loading zone so the delivery trucks can come and fill up your store here. your builders will get on that so i'm gonna speed that up real quick so that is what delivery thing it has like a parking lot but it has like a little truck on it so, we need to link our storage with our store. Go into manage mode and select your store in the list. So, right here, you can either go to the manage and pick your store from the drop down. But soon we'll have like more stores. So you can just right click and click manage store. Here you can change the opening hour and closing hour, link your storage, hire your staff and see what all you're doing and what kind of profit your different things are making. So, we click link storage. All you have to do is click the storage you want to link it to, so then it will technically be open. So, we need one cashier, one stock clerk. You always want to see how good they are, and I'm pretty sure that they're, um, skill goes up, like, as you play. So, I got two, because, um, then they don't have to work the whole time so usually their starting hour I make it around 6 and I go to like 15 I think it's as soon as they can no okay so usually I go 6 15 like a nice 9 hour shift my <clears throat> opening hour is usually wait 6 to um, midnight so I'll go to 6, then I'll go to 15, then my other one will go from 15, oh by the way you use a slide bar to do this, from 15 to the end of the day. So they both do 9 hour shifts so they're perfectly in, to have the same amount of work time. So you pay them the same amount of money based on their skill they have though. So you just pull that back and that over as far as possible to get that um, opening time. Never stop clerks. These are really bad uh -huh, stock works. But I usually get two stock works. And I do the same thing. So I go 6 to 15. They will come in an hour early when they come to work. So that's good. That's a, that's a really good thing. So store will open at 9. So tomorrow morning, they will it'll open. So now you have to do other things. You have to add in different objects. So if you go to all, there are trash cans. So, your people who are here don't um, just throw their trash on the floor. Fair enough, right? You go to road work and you go to garbage pickup. You can put a garbage pickup area there. So, a garbage truck will come over here and around there. Like the um, other things do. So, then once you get, you have to put the trash can, the road work in. And then, you have to open your maintenance center. Go to manage. You have to hire a few janitors. I usually get these guys 12 hour shift. Hold on. Where did it go? There we go. Okay. I was like, oh, where did it go? Okay. Um, you pick the best ones that you can. Um, okay. This is for the office later, but we have the janitors. So I let them go from around zero to noon. One of them. And then I go from noon to the end of the day. So that's when they work. So now we're going to build the office, which doesn't have to be connected to your mall. Not a bad plan, but they don't have to be. As long as you have good staff parking and stuff by the office area that you have. So we're going to add in foundations. You don't want to go over here or over here. You want to go over here because then it turns this wall into just plain floor. If you do that, though, then you're fine. Um, we gotta wait, so I gotta fast forward the time. This won't be too long because it's 
a small thing. So now we have to actually put the items in. So once again, we go to objects, we can go to all and go to office. So we have office desks. We'll put a few in and then go back to all and you can get your staff door for your office workers. And one thing I like to do if you go here to floor tiles and you scroll down to like, I have a mod obviously, but I can get, I get little bricks and I, I guess I can't do that. It won't let me do that. Because, but I usually put like a thing in there. So it's like a sidewalk. Cause I feel like I should. Oh, okay, I have to assign it as office. So if you scroll down enough, you'll find the office button and you can do that. So now, this is how you're going to get your research, so you can do more times the stores later. And you can always expand your store, expand your office, and everything like that. So if you manage your office, you have to hire, I'm, I usually hire around four, but, um, manage. It shut me out of it. Dang it. Okay, so, I usually do the same hours like my cashiers and stock clerks work. Cause they don't need to be there like till midnight because i don't do that so my office workers are there then so it'll open up around well the same time you're any the first store in your mall that opens it'll open then too i think it's open online technically but whatever so now it, it, whenever your shop closes it turns that color so it says things all things seem to be in order there are some tips for a smooth expansion keep your builders busy your parking lot will fill up very quickly and build more customer parking to accommodate more visitors. The default store opening hours are unambitious. Manage your store to open earlier and close later. You also need to hire cashiers to work those hours. Offering a greater diversity of products will attract a lot of a lot more customers. Research projects to unlock highly sought products such as fresh fruit, clothes, or alcohol. Open specialty stores to satisfy demand for rare and expensive products. Finally, having non-retail businesses will make you Make your customers stay on site and spend a whole lot more. Research and build restaurants, bowling alleys, and movie theaters to be the number one destination for nearby shoppers. Thank you for following this tutorial. You're on your own now. Tool tips and notifications are your friends. Let's fill this wild land and con with concrete and capitalism. Okay, so as you see, you can, I use my scroll wheel to zoom in. So my stock clerk over here, she stocked all, she or he, I don't know, he, sorry, stocked, stocked all the shelves. And then she stands over here, and you can see the little numbers coming up from that. These are my office workers, so we got to do this. We got to do the um, research. If you want to do marketing, you click this button. If you want to do research, you click this. So you click that button, and then I do cold chain first, because nine hours I don't do for a while. And your two office workers will then add up points every hour to do it so what we need to do right now is road work and if you click road you can actually build more actual road for the drive on so i'm going to build a road down here my builder will do that and then i need to um, add customer parking on this because my customers want to come to the store there's nowhere to park they won't come obviously so i just line the street here with extra parking so Everything will be good. So once they do the parking, then more people will have places to park. Because over here it says that um, there's parking opportunities. Now we've got 100 sales, daily profit over 100, and different 10 different types of products. So workers can't get somewhere, but that was probably for the office when we didn't have a door. Um, so the people want, there's different things. There's a category store, a non-retail business, and... That's what you can choose from. So if they want a fast food restaurant and they want an electronics and appliance store. So you have to research different things to do that, obviously. So I'm going like, to stay with this for a little while now. So we can just get everything done. So it's back to school season and it's kind of sad. I don't have any of the stuff that they want for back to school. So what you can do is if you don't have enough stuff, you can go to objects and you can add in another shelf. So then I can sell school supplies. So if you go to, I don't actually know where it is. Hold on. Miscellaneous and school supplies. Then they want school supplies. And since it is, it's upcoming, but in three days, then they'll buy all my school supplies. That they need. They also want laptops and like clothes and stuff. But you know, it's okay. 
So we made a hundred total sales. Um, we got ten thousand dollars for that. So we have some money. I mean, ten different types of products. That's good too. Oh, it's perfect. They added the shelf in. Okay. So when we get our mall eventually, we have this whole plot of land. We have four different road connections in each spot up here. I'm gonna put like a road that goes like up here, like somewhere over here, and then we're gonna build one big store here. And we have like two stores on the side and some stores behind them in a little opening area and we can put a bunch of restaurants and stuff in there. So that's my main plan. You can see how tiny my store is now. Eventually we will get rid of the store, but for now, not a lot of people come, so I think it's okay. So a new objective, have 100 customers on site, 20 different types of products and 500 total sales. So they still want electronics and appliance store. Um, still not enough parking, which kind of sucks, but you know. Yeah, so all of them are saying the same thing. I'm gonna keep the light bulb down there because it tells you about everything that they want. So Adam and Parking are still not really pleased, so we're gonna build another road that goes. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. I didn't have the road clicked. Okay, do that. So we have a road down there, and we'll add some more customer parking here, here, and here. So they have more parking. Because you obviously need more parking. Um, wait for them to do that. Your main goal every day is not to get an error message, basically. Oh, I can do the tile thing now too, probably. So we're gonna pick this one right here, this little cool bright color. And you can put in a tile here. So it's kind of like a sidewalk, and you can make sure that no one has to walk through grass to get to your restaurant. Because people actually sometimes don't like that. They won't really complain, but people won't go to your restaurant sometimes if it's you have to go through grass to get there. So we have really long queues, and so soon we're going to get a red message that has a picture of a person on it. It'll slide down here, and there are queues. and. Right here, the line's almost full when they want to get in line. See? Look, just got it. So, what we do, we manage the store. So, right here, the demand goes up to point here. Like, right here for the cashiers. And we only have one, always. So, we, we what we want to do, is we want to hire two more cashiers. Oh, and if you want to do this, you can do multiple hires, keep menu open. Then you click down there. Um, this one's probably the best. Okay. So then the new cashiers, you have to change their time as well for when they're going to work. And we got cold chains. So now we'll probably um, expand on my shop. So we can get frozen food supply to give you more food, or we can get restaurants. I'm not going to go for restaurants yet because I don't really need it yet. So we're going to go frozen food because that's usually the best one we can do. So this is what we have to change to 15 and 0. Okay, so then the demand apparently goes up to needing 2. So that's good that we have 2 now. So now that we have the um, extra food stuff, we need to build foundations. So this is when you actually do go on the wall because you just want it to automatically expand your store so we'll add that in it'll delete the wall and turn it into flooring and they do work diagonally in this game it makes really no sense but i mean whatever i guess um my voice is my throat is hurting i don't talk this much so um so we have like different products here I think I'm gonna like put another one in just so we can get another random item. So now we need to get fridges because we have the cold food. So the fridges are underneath the shelves. We can get a bunch of other things after we get the frozen food supplier as well. So then I usually go towards the back of the store. I'll put like a few in here. And I'm gonna keep a few open spaces for um, cashier sometimes and you can put things up next to each other I'm not gonna I'm just gonna put in more of these shelves like right there 
So we have another room for one of these right here. If we need another cashier stand. So now we didn't get that. Oh, this is from before, but we didn't get that this time. So it still wants the same stuff. Um, so now we have to actually choose what we want. Oh, and if you expand your store, if you go to a sign, you see the store is only half. So you have to go to store, click on one of the corners that's already green, and pull it up so it covers your whole thing. Otherwise, you cannot assign the food. Plus, no one will buy it, so there's really no point in even having it if they won't buy it. So here, I'm just going to put in all the different types of food on the top. And then soda, bottled water, and juice. Because those are the three main things. I have a mod with pop, so it adds all that other stuff in. So then we're not going to work down the line. We're going to have some cookware and dishes. We'll do cook cookware and dishes, because why not, right? Can't care anything. We'll get a few greeting cards, because, you know, Ivy has greeting cards, so I guess... Why can't we do that, right? So clothing, um, we can get some cheap running shoes. Hallmark does that. Um, and some bed sheets. Why not? Care anybody. So now everything is full. So eventually, if you have too much um, stuff in your store, then your stock clerk will get tired. Um, usually only if you have staff needs involved, but that is a thing. So if you did do that, then. I love how they have little notebooks. You can see like all the designs of the rainbow one and there's like, I don't even know what they are. There's one with like a shooting star and one with just polka dots and there's some glue down there. They look so real, like they actually do. And by the way, these are not running shoes. These don't look like running shoes at all because they're just like slippers. Anyway, so sell 20 different types of products. So we did that. How many are we selling? Let me think, that's nine, 18. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. We have twenty-two different products. So our new objective is to sell thirty. We only sell twenty-two, so not gonna happen. But so far we don't need any more cues, so that's a good thing. Um Looks like our traffic isn't too backed up here, so we don't need too much more parking. And we have a nice little store in here. So we need to come up with a name for our store. I mean not really, but I might as well. So if you left click the where it says store too. Turn a daily profit over a hundred. Oh, we made over a hundred bucks. Nice. The fact that we made profit is impressive because usually we don't make a lot of profit, but um, that's good. It's not even a grocery store technically because it has, what is the other categories? What? Really? So it has in tampons? Really? They have a 200%? Wow. We don't want 200%. Maybe that's just what they are normally. Let's see. What about the new ones? They have 200%? They do. Wow. Okay. What do we need to do? Make five. Oh, we just made 500 sales. Perfect. I'll take it. So we made 500 sales. We get $10,000 for that. Um. Well, I think I'm leaving here because we have a functioning office. Uh, I might wait till that's done because we have like one per few percent left. We had a nice management center, good storage, some delivery trucks coming in. We gotta fix some queues and some parking, but that's okay. We need 2,000 sales and profit over 500. I also want a grocery store, which if I fix this now, since I have frozen food supply, then we won't worry about it because it'll add in um, a lot of other things. So, if we scroll down, there's actually a lot of things we can do. So they wanted a electronics and what was it? Yeah, electronics. So we're gonna do either where is it? I'm trying to find it. I can't find it. What the heck? Um, I don't know. It's actually today, I thought. Where did it go? I'm confused. Appliance supplier. So we're not gonna do those yet, because we don't get a lot of stuff with that. Um we're gonna do the electronics. And we can do media, so we can get like a little, kind of like a GameStop going, you know, if we wanted another building like over here. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it here. It'll do some research. We're going to make over 500 profits, so that's good today. Um, yeah, recording for a long time, so I want to say bye, I guess. Um, I'm going to change these actually to food, so I get... A grocery store, technically. 
Also, paper bags, the bags here, they can have rats in them. So if you don't clean them up, they will, they're a grocery store. Then they won't complain about wanting a grocery store anymore. So we need to fix the keys, the parking, and they want some restaurants. So I'll keep that over there because we got to remember they want restaurants. Yeah, never mind. They will notify me like every day. Okay, so I'm going to leave. Um, Like, oh, we made a profit over 500. Told you. Okay, I'm going to pause it now. Pause it now. So bye. Um, I had fun playing this game. Let me know if you like it or not. Um, like, subscribe, and comment if you feel like you need to. I don't know what you're going to comment about, but I mean, comment if you want to. So um, I'm going to leave now. So yeah, bye.